So I'm back with another fragrance from the house built for Joe. Just kidding. Penhaligans. If you want to hear about this one, you know what to do. Welcome back, NYC Fragrance family. Joe with another video. Yes, another Penhaligans. Big surprise there. Well, you know, these are the two I have right now. And I'm sure there's going to be a couple more added, but the fragrance I'm talking about today from Penhaligans is Endymion. Let's see if you can see that. Get the light focused in there. This one is classified as an Oriental Spicy. I see it as an Oriental Spicy Fougere. It's got lavender, it's got bergamot. There's a coffee note. You got sage, you got some geranium, and there's cardamom. There's also an incense vibe, which you definitely pick up for sure. Let's check this out. Dry it down a little bit. A little bit alcohol heavy there on the spray. Yeah, this is this is something good. It's, it's special. If you like fougere fragrances, you like things that have some spice, little oriental vibe to it, this is right up your alley. And this is coming in at a good price point too now. They are at discounters. So, let me get into it. My pros. Pros. Clean, fresh, easy wearing scent. It's just an easy to wear scent. It's just pleasant. The lavender make gives you that nice, clean soapiness, that touch of bergamot with the citrus. The sage gives it some herbaceousness. The geranium in there, if you're familiar with geranium and fougere fragrances, cuts through with that little bit of floral. And then you get some incense, which gives you that nice touch of oriental vibe going on. It's a really good fragrance. I, you know, I've experienced quite a few from Penhaligans at the Penhaligans Pen Boutique. And I almost wanted to buy everything, but I can't, obviously. Pro number two, unique scent. Out of all the Fougere fragrances or fragrances that, you know, there are, are other Oriental spices, very similar to this, but from what I can gather, there's nothing or any other fragrance that this has been compared to or is found to be similar to. So that in itself gives it a unique scent. Pro number three, performance. It's got some really decent performance. I get about six hours on my skin. Now, people may say six hours doesn't seem like great performance. Six hours of performance to me is generally acceptable. You know, anything less than that is where I start to find it to become weak. But six hours or more, I can six hours to eight hours, I consider to be decent performance. The sillage itself, the centralia leave is moderate. People do smell it on you. People do compliment it. So it is a pleasing fragrance. It is definitely office safe. That lavender, you know, lavender is always going to give you that fresh out of the shower, soapy type vibe going on. So... It's a very safe fragrance to wear and very pleasant. Number four, pro number four. It can be found at discounters for under $90 for the 50 ml bottle. Now, you might say, well, that's not really that cheap. Well, considering the quality you get and considering, it, considering it's a Penhaligans fragrance for under $90, yeah, it's cheap. There may even be spots you find that for even less than that. You don't hear much about this fragrance. I just found it to be very pleasing to me and getting it at a good price, it's worth having. As far as cons go, I can't really come up with any for this fragrance. Now I'm not saying it's a perfect fragrance, don't get me wrong, or it's the best fragrance in the world. I just don't really find anything wrong with it. Uh, other than, you know, if you're looking at it from a niche perspective, because it is a niche brand, right, Penhaligans, 
is it really artistic or mind-blowing or game changing no it's not it's simple it's it's a likable fragrance it's that you know it's the it's the guy that everybody likes everybody you know oh he's a nice guy well that's a nice guy but yeah yeah i would talk to him yeah he's a nice guy but they never say like oh he's the best they'll just say he's a nice guy so he's kind of like the average guy or you know we would say that he this is an average fragrance there's nothing spectacular mind-blowing about it if that's how you you know want to portray a con for the fragrance but as far as everything goes at the price point the scent not smelling like anything else performance being what it is and the versatility that it brings because it is a fresh easy to wear fragrance it's not a bad one to have in your collection if you get a chance to get to a Penhaligon's boutique or a place that carries Penhaligon's, please go through the fragrances. I know in Bloomingdale's they have a Penhaligon section, so that's one place to definitely go check out Penhaligon's. So remember, NYC Fragrance Family, if this brought some value to you, keep coming back. Let me know your thoughts on the House of Penhaligon's. If you have any that you like, leave it in the comments below. I'd like to hear about it. And remember, as always, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.